put out a quick message uh, tonight. They're having a meeting up in Woonsocket. Uh, the um, Chicago-based company Invenergy LLC, Invenergy Thermal Solutions or something like that, um, they want to buy uh, water rights from the Woonsocket um, water supply. They, I think they're looking for about 15 to 20,000 gallons a day that they would be um, uh, having three water trucks um, going back and forth and carting this water out to the power plant in Burlville to keep the thing cool. Um, so this is a lot of water. I, I was, um, pretty shocked and I guess like almost offended by their tone in this fact sheet, the Invenergy fact sheet, which said that, I think it said exact, Woodsocket has plenty of water to go around, something like that. And they, they this is in their fact sheet. It's like, oh, well, who's, whose judgment is that? Who, who gets to say whether there's enough water to go around? And um, I don't know if they have ever been to the reservoir. Um, I go fairly often. It's part of my, part of my, my route in the lands where I live. It's about a half hour from here. And uh, this year, the water line was about, we guessed it was probably about nine feet below um, where it is. And now, you know, this covers, I don't know, probably a couple, few hundred thousand acres. I don't even know. It's a huge reservoir. So the amount of gallons that it was low, I have no idea. And, um, they had the spillway wide open all summer, um, which didn't make sense to us that they were letting it run down the stream. Um, and just, uh, while we were in the long-term drought that lasted, uh, I think it actually started last year was a little bit dry. And then this year was, um, drier. Um, so, um, yeah, uh, these kind of statements from company, just trying to put people at ease and where are they going to back that up? Um, how are they going to put that out as a fact? And, um, you know, my friend had been out there. He's, he's, um, been, uh, he said he's never seen it that low in 50 years that he's been, been, uh, he, he, uh, has been out, out in those areas a lot. Um, so, <clears throat> um, yeah, so it, it, it comes home to here, uh, over in Little Rody, uh, up in Woonsocket. Um, you know, uh, we're not in support of this power plant. We don't think it's, uh, the best option. Um, you know, there's a lot of motion towards doing green energy and, you know, we just kicked on five offshore wind turbines that are producing all the power for Block Island and bringing some onshore. And, um, as they learn how it goes with those offshore turbines and how well they work they would like to put i hear like a dozen more that would be or, or even more who knows that would be further offshore and would produce even more power where the wind is um even stronger so um why are we going in two directions you know go in one or go in the other uh the people have spoke the people and uh also the burlville town council they don't want this power plant so um yeah, give it up, Invenergy. Go home. Get with your thermal solutions or whatever. Why don't you do some geothermal stuff? Quit burning diesel. Um, so, okay. Well, anyway, there's uh, there's my statement for uh, they're going to meet at 6.30 tonight here on January 6th up in Woonsocket. And, um, yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do a little bit of reporting. You know, I guess we're all um, recreating the media, and uh, I don't mind talking. Um, just uh, hope that it, you know... Helps, helps y'all see what's happening. And, uh, okay. Thanks a lot. Till later. Mini Ochoni.